All right, guys, I want to take this opportunity to talk about something that just happened on the Pine64 Discord, and I actually watched this happen in real time. Someone had shared a link to download what they said was their very first programming game, which they said was a one of those snake-based games. Um, and the thing is, it turned out to be malware. And I actually did a video, I want to bring your attention, if you haven't seen it yet, take a look at my video on Watch Out for Hidden Code. As you can see here, we'll open it up real quick, and what happens is, I wrote this code which is similar to what they shared, and I had obfuscated it using Base64, see this long string here? If you ever see a string like that in something you download, this is a reminder. Anytime you download something, make sure you check the code, unless it's a super large project that you feel you can trust that has thousands of stars on GitHub, for example. But if you if it's not a well-known project and you're not getting it from the official source, make sure you read the code and understand what it's doing. And if you cannot understand what it's doing, don't download it. Not just don't run it, don't even download it. Don't even, if you know, if you don't know how to read the what it is doing, and if it looks like something obfuscated such as this, make sure you're not running it. Because this was set to remove, you know, corrupt the modem, and it was just a big problem. It was obfuscated. So I'm going to run this clip real fast. And what happens is, see, what just happened here was the code that I had written obfuscated in base64 sends the MAC address to a foreign server also sends the host name which is another form of identifier and if you have a unique host name it can tell what operating system you have it can also tell possibly what default passwords that operating system has and the MAC address is shared and sold for location data all over the world so they could tell your exact location potentially from something like that. Well, this was even worse. This removed things. So we're going to take a look at that and we're going to talk a little bit about it. I wanted to use this as an example why you need to understand what you're downloading and running, especially on Linux. You need to really understand, not just especially on Linux, but because it is fairly easy to put together a script and then use something like bash obfuscator as we're going to see right here which is an automated script that can allow anyone to create a simple malware as as is the case in this situation and what happened was they used something called bash fuscator now this project will obfuscate the code as you can see here and it shows what it does what it does it has base64 to decode this and then put it into a file in the temp directory. Then it has it run that bash file, and then it sends the output to slash dev slash null, which means it won't output anything on the screen showing that it's harming your system. And then it removes itself, similar to the example code that I wrote in lesson in privacy watch out for hidden code so this is a big example here I wanted to use something real world only was a few hours ago so we know that people are attempting to at least share it and good on gamey I want to give a shout out to gamey for catching that really quick I was in the chat I saw him share it you know I didn't say anything because gamey said something immediately you know don't run it you know without knowing what it is so Go to on gamey for catching that right away. And also, it looks like some other people checked it out as well. So, we, what they used was something here called Bash Fuscator. And that'll take any, you know, Bash script and it'll obfuscate it in such a way. So, if you can't read it, if it doesn't look normal, if it's a long string, and here's another tip. Sometimes this kind of code will be hidden inside what looks like a URL, so a web URL, but it'll cut off that part. It'll take that, you know, what looks like a long string at the end of a website, you know, say question mark, and then the obfuscated code. So look out for that kind of thing too. If you see a really long string and it looks obfuscated, or if it just looks like a bunch of scrambled binary, you don't want to run that. And if you don't know how to, 
you know, read it, don't download it to begin with. So this was a lesson in that, and I just want to take the opportunity to share that. And uh, be safe out there, and I'll have more on the Pine Phone. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone.